San Francisco is a city with better than average public transit and density for an American city. Last time I visited, I made use of the rail, cable car transit systems, but I also tried Waymo, which is my first personal experience with autonomous taxi cab technology. We had some autonomous taxis here in Austin before, but as far as I know, Waymo hasn't launched widely yet in the city, although I believe it is coming soon. In the transit activism community, autonomous vehicles are often viewed with suspicion. I understand this reaction because autonomous vehicles are often used as a scapegoat for why we shouldn't be investing in mass transit by anti-transit folks. Setting that aside, I have to say that the experience of using a Waymo is decidedly pleasant. First off, the experience of calling the Waymo is simple and familiar to anyone who has called an Uber before. There are a few quirks around getting in and out. You have to press unlock on the app to get in, and you have to pull the handles twice to get out. Other than that, the experience riding is great. There were several times where our Waymo navigated a situation that would have been challenging even for a human driver. In one case, a group of dirt bike riders swarmed around us like some kind of Mad Max scene, and our Waymo didn't miss a beat, slowing down and driving defensively until they were all clear. This is kind of an interesting test drive because we had a weird turn earlier, and then we had like a a skateboarder like pull right in front of us and then like kind of lurch to a stop. It was a bit of a heavy stop, honestly, but like better than hitting the skateboarder. But probably the most notable and tangible difference is the absence of a driver. Being in a Waymo is like renting a private room to float from destination A to destination B. You have control over the music, you can sing or take a phone call, and you don't have to make conversation with an Uber driver or entertain their wild conspiracy theories about the Earth's flatness when you're just trying to get a ride across town. So I'm taking like my third or fourth Waymo at this point, and I gotta say, it is a great experience. Um, like, for example, I can take this really loud self-recording of me uh, and I'm not bothering I'm bothering the driver. I'm, you know, it's very private, which is, which is nice. Perhaps more importantly, Waymo prices seem competitive with Uber and no offense to Uber drivers, but I prefer the privacy of a Waymo to an Uber for the same price. Of course, one can theorycraft about potential downsides of not having a driver in a taxi. As far as I know, Waymo doesn't have any functionality to stop someone from breaking in, and my understanding is that it is mostly programmed to stop instead of potentially hitting someone, even if they're trying to attack a passenger or a car. But my guess is that as long as those events are rare, the average consumer will make the trade-off of having a private driverless car in exchange for not having a potential getaway driver. I don't think that Waymos are a replacement for traditional mass transit systems for a variety of reasons. I do think that they could play a role in reducing individual car ownership and dependence and potentially enable cities to build and maintain less parking spaces. Also, it's still early and data is mixed, but I would guess over the long term that a vehicle that isn't operated by a potentially high, drunk, tired, or rushed human will end up being significantly safer in terms of deaths and injuries per passenger mile compared to traditional vehicles. That being said, I think that transit and urbanism folks are making a mistake by making autonomous vehicles their enemies. They might not solve transit, but they don't have to be an enemy of transit either. If they are safer, more enjoyable, less parking sensitive alternatives to personal vehicles or Ubers, they can offer some value filling in the gaps between other modes of transit. Stop, stop the car. Vehicle stop, stop the car. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Waymo. All right. Was it okay? It was all right. Would yeah. you do it again? Yes. Yeah.